integrate the sine of the cosine of sine x times the sine of sine x times the cosine of x. Let's try to do it. Solution. So this looks like some type of u substitution problem. So I'm thinking we can let u be this entire piece right here with the hopes that the derivative uh, is what's left over. Um, let's try it. So we'll let u be equal to the cosine of sine x. And now we'll take the derivative. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so du. So here it's cosine of sine x, so it will be negative sine of sine x times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is sine, and its derivative is cosine x dx. So I was almost correct. It's almost the derivative. Uh, we don't have a negative sign in the integrand, but we have one down here, so we'll divide both sides by negative 1. So we have negative du equals the sine of the sine of x times the cosine of x dx. And now we're ready to make our substitution. Uh, it works out very, very nicely. So this piece here that you see in green, sine of sine x, cosine x dx, that's the same as this piece down here, right? Same thing. So that's negative du. So we can pull out the negative sign. And we're simply left with the sine of u du. Um, we can actually leave the negative sign in in this case. It's a little more beneficial because this is negative sine u. And integrating this is pretty easy because we ask ourselves, what is a function whose derivative is negative sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this just becomes cosine of u plus c. And so u is the cosine of sine x. So this is the cosine of the cosine of sine x, parentheses, parentheses, plus our constant of integration c. This is from one of the qualifying exams for the MIT integration b. I hope this video was helpful. That's it.